Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. Sunny, warm, and Lake Pacific out there. It is absolutely gorgeous. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me that during the morning briefing, if you saw a blow back there from a gray whale making their annual migration from the Bering Sea down to the warm water lagoons of Baja, California, we are in full whale watching season here in SoCal with the orcas also making a pretty regular appearance here in SoCal. It's been an exciting time, no question about it. Hey, first of all, thanks to all of you that I saw at the Bart Hall show yesterday. Wow, great crowds, just fantastic people, and all kinds of great fishing opportunities and adventures at all the various booths. I'm going to run something at the end of the morning briefing where you'll be able to see me just wandering around aimlessly at the show. It was indeed a pleasure to meet so many of you, and I can't thank you enough for all of your great support. Hey, by the way, I know you're looking. It's not my regular coffee cup, and there's a story behind it, because yesterday on my way out of the Bard Hall show, Brad Van Zyl was at the Western Outdoor News booth. He is the general manager and head of the national sales director. He is the national sales director, and I got to tell you, what a nice young man. Brad, Thank you so much. Brad calls me over and says, Phil, listen, we all, down at Western Outdoor News, you know, we're cooped up in an office. So every single morning, we all get together and watch the morning briefing because you're down there at the beach and we get the vicarious feeling that we're at the beach and we also get caught up on all the fishing stuff. And then Brad said, hey, here, I've got a gift for you for the morning briefing. So Brad, thank you so very, very much. That means a lot to me. I deeply appreciate it. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. <clears throat> As I start to choke to death. Hey, if you don't mind, hit that like button. Deeply appreciate it when you do that. Also, share these videos with a friend. Tick the bell. You'll be notified when there is new content. And, of course, subscribe to the Friedman Adventures channel. You can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Apple Podcast, and Spotify. Wow, what a great time yesterday at the Bar Hall Show. And it opens up at 10 today and goes till 5 this evening. I hope to see some of you again there today. It should be great. Let's talk Mexico down in Cabo San Lucas. I don't know if it can get any better. Cabo, San Jose, Lo Cabo. Great marlin fishing going on down there on striped marlin. It has been tremendous. My friend Graham Hebson, a couple of days ago, caught and released 16 striped marlin. Had a couple of fat Dorado, and that kind of fishing is continuing here this morning, Sean Morgan runs the wild and sack out of San Jose del Cabo is telling me it is flat, good, and it's not far. It's a couple of miles, he says. You run outside of San Jose del Cabo and you're in fish. They're around. So great fishing down there. Down around uh, San Quintin, which is 140 miles below the Mexican-American border, Tijuana, 140-mile drive. And there's some decent yellowtail action down there and also copious amounts of rockfish. And Ensenada, man, we've had really great variety and really great fishing. And there's still some good time opportunity right now before the rain starts, Wednesday, Thursday-ish. Um, you'll be able to take advantage of some really outstanding fishing down there. A mix of barracuda, big bonita, rockfish, lingcot, all kinds of bass. It's been good in Ensenada. Highly recommend you make that drive down there to that beautiful coastal Mexican town and enjoy some fun fishing. And there's a variety of guys you can fish with. Let's talk about the long range situation because it has been quite good down the Baja coast. This is the time when boats make their 16 day voyages down the Baja coast. And man, oh man, it has been spectacular. The independence is on her way down right now. She should be in the zone in another day or so. Don't forget, we have a five day trip on the Indy departing April the 4th through the 9th out of Point Loma Sport Fishing in San Diego. That's a Freeman Adventures trip. Go by and say hi to Paulina at the Independence. Booth. She is wonderful. She's working there with her husband. And also uh, Alicia Strasser is there with her new clothing line. You'll see and learn more about that at the end of today's report. But go by there and sign up for that trip. I would love to see you on board. XL, they say their numbers of yellowfin tuna are down right now, but the quality is way, way, way up. Some beautiful big yellow fin tuna for the XL, no question about it. They're going to go off and try to find some more variety to finish their great 
trip off. They've had a really good one with David Petruscu on there, putting the wood to some really big fish along with several other great passengers. Red Rooster 3, they only had two kite fish yesterday, but man, they put the wood to the big yellow fan tuna. Andy Kate saying it's fantastic. Fly lining, catching big yellow fan tuna. Great a fish up there, you know, 120 to 200 pound stuff plus. There's been some really great fish taken down there in that neck of the woods. So we continue to see great long range fishing. There is no question about it. Jerry Goldstein has a trip, a nine day. He's a dear friend of Freeman Adventures. It is departing November 14th. It pulls into Cabo San Lucas November 23rd if you want to fly home and returns to San Diego November the 26th if you prefer to ride the boat home. You can give Jerry a call if you'd like to join him. Only 20 anglers on that trip. 949-637-5891. Hey, I want to welcome a new sponsor to the show and an old friend of mine. Man, I'll tell you, Tim Marquez is absolutely the best. Hey, it's tax season and there's only one great thing about tax season, and that is getting your taxes done early so you can get your refund or just get that out of your hair. And Tim runs A Best Income Tax. They are celebrating their 30th year anniversary. That says a lot about a business that can hang in there for that long. Tim is a great guy. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to have him do my taxes, and you should also. 15% off of last year's tax fees, so you're going to get a discount there. 20 bucks. If you refer somebody cash in your pocket, Tim's a great guy. Give him a call at 310-892-3503, a best income tax. Tim Marquez, you can't beat that guy, I'll tell you that. All right, here in the L.A. Orange County area, you can't beat this gorgeous weather we have here. It feels like summertime here this beautiful Sunday morning as the Bard Hall Show comes to an end, and there has been some really good fishing going on. First of all, we've got some good bass fishing up and down our coast. Sand and calico bass. Winter time bass fishing. It's been pretty darn spectacular, if you ask me. Spitfire, Nick Ramirez, and Pedro Mirabel were a couple of the anglers on board putting the wood to the sand and calico bass along with some sculpin on board the Spitfire out of Marina Del Rey Sport Fishing. Really a great day, and it's always good to see Nick. By the way, Nick saw what we were doing in Mexico, and Nick's been a supporter of our efforts to take things south of the border to people who really need our help. And Nick went out and bought a pair of two brand new shoes that he left at the office. I haven't been over there yet to pick them up, Nick, but we're making a shipment again here at the early part of next week down to Mexico, and those shoes are going to be part of that shipment, and they're going to go down there to help people. Nick, you're a prince of a guy, no question about it. We take a look down on the premier down there in San Diego. And Robert Tressler said, hey, limits of calico and sand bass. Really great fishing on the plastics. Robert with another great day on board the Premier. So good that he was on the morning trip, half day trip, and said, what the heck, let's go do it again. Went back out in the afternoon, some great stuff going on there. A lot of bass up and down the coast. A lot of guys are fishing like 25 to 40 pound fluorocarbon. Sometimes they'll even dip down to the 20 pound floor to get a bite. Most cases, you're fishing a lead head or a sliding egg sinker, a big hook like a 5 and man, the fresh dead squid seems to be the ticket right now. It has been working really, really well. Halibut fishing really has slowed down here recently over the last week or so. We had some really good signal on it, and then it slowed up a little bit. Not sure what that's all about, but it's still a great day to be out on the water. The native sun yesterday had three halibut and picked at the bass and the sculpin. To go along with that, they have that great tournament going on on board the Native Sun out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California. Great prizes, great times. The Native Sun's a great fishing platform. Also, the Aloha Spirit with Pat O'Brien, who's joined us live just the other night, offered a lot of great tackle tips to each and every one of you. Yesterday on the Aloha Spirit, 18 guys had a couple halibut and 115 on the whitefish. Uh, they also had some trigger fish and some other miscellaneous species. At least they're able to get that white fish on board, provide you with some excellent table fare, and they'll get at it again. So a little bit slower on the halibut, but I mean, you know, about three weeks ago, maybe four, uh, the Aloha Spirit had 18 guys catch 34 halibut, but it's been declining. It's temporary. Hang in there, everybody. These flatties will start to bite, 
and we'll see some better numbers here very, very soon. So keep your eyes on that. All right, some great surf fishing, and man, oh man, these are the perfect conditions to pick off some surf fish. I will tell you, it can't get any lovelier. Bar perch fishing has been fantastic. Down in San Diego, the Honey Badger Bait Tournament took place yesterday, and everybody had a fantastic time fishing in San Diego. Our friend, Ronald Delos Santos Violaria. Did I get that right, Ronald? I hope I did. He won the tournament with a 14.5-inch barred perch. That's a beautiful fish, especially for San Diego. It seems like up north, you know, the Ventura area and above there, they'll catch those really giant barred perch. And then down to the south in San Quentin and other parts of the Baja Coast, San Diego is not known for a really giant barred perch, but that's a nice one, man. And what a great time they had at the Honey Badger Tournament. Peter Matz fishing silver strand beach with some great fishing. I mean, he had bar perch, corbina, yellowfin croaker catching them two at a time. He really put the wood to them. And here in the LA Orange County area, down there around the Huntington Beach Pier, we've seen some good fishing. The Santa Monica Bay has been good. There's a lot of bar perch. There's some holdover corbina because the water has not cooled down that much and it has been flat, great fishing. Don't forget your surf fishing headquarters in Southern California to get all the baits you'll need this morning, to get all the tackle you'll need, and that is big fish, bait and tackle, in the beautiful city of Seal Beach, California. Hey, man, they have everything you'll need. You know, bait during the wintertime is the way to get a bite. You fish a two-hook rig and bait, and man, you can catch them two at a time during this time of the year, and also throwing a little chrome crocodile or a lucky crab lure could produce the halibut of your lifetime in the surf. There's nothing more fun than catching a legal halibut while your feet are in the sand. There's just something really special about it. And Big Fish Bait and Tackle has your gear from trout right on up to big bluefin tuna. They've got it all for you. Visit Big Fish Bait and Tackle and say hi to the guys for me. Last night, Jesse Link with a beautiful lobster. Excellent fishing or hoop netting, I should say up and down our coast. Seems like it has rebounded on the local scene and been quite good. Fritz Tadzer with limits fast, too, he said. Limits of lobster. That is seven langostas per person. Really great fishing there. The hoop netting's been excellent. Remember, I always say this. I have to say it again. 50 bucks a pound for a lobster. You get 10 pounds. Sounds like 500 bucks worth of that. Man, that is really excellent. You pull that off four times in a year which you can easily do, and you can do it way more than that. That's two grand worth of lobster that you get to indulge yourself in. And also, um, of course, uh, share it with family and friends, and they are going to love you for that. Uh, once again, we are continuing to watch many different situations. I love the long range team. Mexico's going very well. Southern California, excellent. We have rain on the way Wednesday. It looks like a wet week ahead, but things change. And, of course, we'll be watching that for you very, very closely. And also... Up there in the Santa Monica Bay, we have seen some really nice halibut fishing up around El Segundo here over the past 48 hours. So we're keeping our eyes on that with you all. Bard Hall Show again here today, the Long Beach Convention Center. Come on out and enjoy the show. Man, what a great show this has been this year. And I can't wait for Del Mar because that will be next. I'll be wandering around aimlessly down there also. Thanks again for all the likes, for the millions of views, and everything you do for us. Western Outdoor News, thank you for the great coverage you give us every single year, the great tournaments you put on. And Brad, thank you for being such a gentleman. I deeply, deeply appreciate that. Drop by the Independence booth and check out our five-day trip on board the Independence. Our eight-day trip is sold out right now, but jump on that five-day in April. That is a few months away, and that is going to be a truly great trip. All right, in the meantime, have a beautiful Sunday. I don't know how you can help, but have a gorgeous, beautiful Sunday. It doesn't get any nicer than this. Have a great one, and you know, I hope to see you in a few more hours down there at the Bar Hall Show. If not, I hope to see you somewhere really, really soon. Take care, my friends.
Come take a little walk with me, Phil Friedman, through the Bart Hall Show on Saturday, January 27th, 2024. For many of us, the show is about all the great seminars and the great fishing adventures to come, but it's also about meeting old friends and making new ones. That's what the Bart Hall Show is all Good about. Hey, you guys. What's up, you guys? Up? Oh, my God. Two of my favorite Yay, people. Phil. Kenny, how are you? I'm good. Brian, what's up, you? Phil? My keys. Yo, I need my keys. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, I was thinking about those cigarettes the whole time. Does it have a full tank of gas? I'll take it. Yeah, really. All right, I'm back. Yeah, I've been forgetting everything today, so this is not a big deal. How are you? I'm doing great. How it's probably my turn to uh, renew my membership, which I can it never figure. Is. is it? It is. I haven't done it yet? Or? I don't know. I can look and see. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, so, but I'll look and see you, but... Um, okay, yeah, yeah, and I'll run you down in okay. there. Sounds good. See you, sir. Man, it's great to see you, yeah. as always. You talk. Been, yeah, let's yeah. do that. Okay. Yeah. Yep, me out of mine all day. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Felicidades. Gracias. Happy birthday. Gracias. I know. This is my good friend, Leah. Right. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? She wants to go good. fishing on a boat. Let's go. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. You too. How's everything? Great. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet My you. pleasure. Yeah, we had a great. You, you're so kind to us and everything. So we oh love. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. I love you, Phil. I love you, Bert. We've been around for a long time. I know, too long. We wouldn't know what to do without you. Oh my God. Some people would be better off without me. Let me tell you. This is the voice of nine seven six tuna. Before we had the internet. Yes, I remember those days. Man, those were crazy. I never got a day off you in those days. Nine seven six tuna. If you you remember better now. than me. <laughs> hey, that was the best. Some people repeat some of the stuff from nine seven six tuna, what? and what? I'm like, man, I don't even remember that. You guys are awesome. I know. It was yeah. the best. What are you doing this year? Are you are you here at the show just to see people? I want to put some money on the Royal Polaris. I don't know where she is. I don't know if she's here. Yeah, she's here. I'm she's sure here. she's somewhere around here. I see the Independence. I've seen them before. I'm, uh, I'm a little out of pocket this year, so I haven't booked a lot of trips yeah. yet. I'm trying to, my work's been a little weird. But How are the kids doing? Kids are trouble. <laughs> oh, I know. So that's what their job is. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's I remember you brought who was that? Your nephew down Alex. and yeah, Alex. and we had a tackle box or something or boots yeah, or I can't I was, remember. I was just showing Jacob that the, we got the boots. Yeah, and the tackle box, and we had a nice pastrami sandwich. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. Compliments of you. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that, that was, was great. great. Yeah, there was a kid on the. Uh, was it on the Amigo? Yeah, what was his name? A little Asian boy, ten years old. Oh, um, Preston. Are Preston, you, you know Preston? Yeah. He is a master yeah, yeah. fisherman. Yeah. He 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 spliced his line all by himself. He tied his hook on all by himself. He can give me lessons. And he he hooked the first tuna in the morning. He got a 30-pound yellow fish. Nice. And just mastered that fish. I couldn't believe it. Oh, wow. Wayne Cato. Come on in here, Wayne. Oh, Hi, come bro. on, man. Over here. I hope you're going to edit this. No, we're not editing any of this. We're live. How are you Right doing? now. We're Hi, doing yeah. good, man. You want to say something about CCA? Come over by the CCA booth, guys. We got a brand new star tournament going on. It's going to go from Memorial Day to Labor Day. If you're a CCA member, it's forty dollars. You get to catch a bunch of fish Woo! that you're going to catch anyway, and those fish could get you into a raffle to win something as large as an 18-foot Parker Center console with a Yamaha 150 and a trailer for catching what you're already going to be catching. So forty dollars could get you a sixty thousand dollar package. We have ten Whoa. big prizes. We have weekly prizes. You want to do this. He's giving come, you a run for your money. Come and join CCA Cal and just have fun. He All was, right. Thank was, you. Was, you look like you're off to stuff. I'll I catch you a little bit later. The... Paul Strasser, you want to say something here? Oh, you look like you're just waking up. <laughs> Bert, take care. Good to see you. Say something. I'm going to say tell, something. Tell everybody how, you, how much you love me. I love Phil. <laughs> I've, known, I've known Phil since uh, the very beginnings of 976 Tuna. We didn't know what to think about it at the time because back then we still had L.A. Times with the fish count. Right. And then we had this guy on uh, 976 Tuna where you call him up, pay what, a dollar or two dollars? Yeah, I got up to two bucks. Yeah, we th we thought he was crazy in the beginning. I, but, I uh, was crazy. But I you, still am. He was just the leading edge of what was to, more to come. That's true, right? Yeah. With the internet and everything. Oh, yeah, but he got it pumped up. It was good. That was a long time ago. Independent Sport Fishing. Independent Sport Fishing. We're here, independent Sport Fishing.com. 
pay us a visit on our website. You'll enjoy it. Love you, Paul. You betcha. All right. Hey, that was Paul Strasser a moment ago, and here's his lovely daughter, Alicia. How are you? I'm good. It's so Doing nice good. to see you. Yes, nice to see you, too. So, what do we have here? So, this is my new apparel line called Trippy Fish. Wow. Um, it's all women's and kids' apparel. I have toddler and youth sizes all the way through um, some women's v-necks and also some more unisex um, designs too um, and i'm showcasing my two new designs i got this really cool angler fish oh that is so cool angler fish oh and... my you know i'm already i can hear my <laughs> wife already felipe <laughs> yo quiero uno de esos i want one of those yes yes and also this cool um rainbow whale tail with uh, trippy fish on it. I also got kidding? some- That is so cool. Yeah, little guppies too, for the kiddos. But yeah, I'm currently at um, 22 Second Street Landing and um, Fishing Alliance uh, down on 6th Street in um, San Pedro. And also a few uh, stores in San Diego as well. Wow. So I'm um, working on growing this year, but yeah, really excited to be here at my dad's booth at the Independence. Yes. And um, yeah. How about internet orders? Is that something that's um, going to happen in the future? Yeah, possibly in the future this yeah. year. Um, looking to maybe do online retail, but right now I'm wholesale, so you can find me at certain um, taco shop shops and um, the landings down in San Pedro and San Diego. So um, Point Loma, Sport Fishing, um, Dana Landing, nice, and um, 22 Second Street Landing. Wow. Yeah. So, so guys, yeah. listen, and you tell me if I'm on the right track here. <laughs> February 14th is right around the corner. Yes. What a great Valentine's Day yes, gift, got some right? Next, I also have um, San Diego and San Pedro. So, um, yeah, great for the kids coming up in the spring, summertime. I also, if we go over here, I have sure. some hats. Both my daughters are in sports. This really so. cool abstract straw hat if you need a new straw hat for fishing. Going on a trip soon. I don't know if I could get all my hair in there, though. Do you, what do you think? <laughs> Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> and some bucket hats at 22 Second Street Landing if you're by there. Really Gotta cute. love this. Tie dye. Yeah. So if you're in San Pedro or in San Diego, close to Point Loma Sport Fishing or down at 22 Second Street, um, stop by and you're looking for some women and kids clothes. Yeah. Alicia, what a pleasure. Thank yes, you so much. Nice seeing you, We girl. love you and your dad. and. Yeah, uh, I appreciate it. We're yeah. so happy to be there at 22nd yeah. Street Land yes. with you now. Yes, exactly. Right. Thanks, yeah. everybody. Yeah, thank you. Which one? I don't know. We're the, we're How are you? Hi, Can I give you a hug? Yes. All right, thank you. Yeah, I'm Sonia. Jira, I'm the one you text. Oh, okay, <laughs> perfect. You're going to jump on one? Okay. Do it. Okay, yeah, I miss you, man. You got to do it again. Yeah. How's the show? Good. Good. You guys staying out of trouble? Oh, yeah. Do you have your oh, schedule already? Or do you have a no, but if do you have my do you have my phone number? Text me. Okay. I have a partial schedule. I'll send that. And then, yeah, perfect. perfect. Love you guys. Nice Good seeing you. you. You're gonna be on the show, Michael Morrison. You know, What's up, man? Saw, come over here. Sit in my office. You guys, oh. come on over here, guys. Hey, if Danny Cadota shows up here, we'll be right back. Okay. okay thank you. What do you got? Okay. Is so, this your office? Oh. So what I got right here. right here, right now, guys. Yeah. Freedman Adventures five day leaving April fourth. Man, I love you. I was down there when they departed last year. Those are all my. I don't know how you associate with my friends. Your friends They're love me. Friends. Ernie's my friend. I don't know how he's your friend. Ernie but Montano. He, but he told me that he's your friend before he was my friend. So he loves me. But all those people were cool. I'd actually like wouldn't assume cool people hang out with you, but then I saw <laughs> myself. Well, and I, most and people I, would assume that because you're with me. So, I mean, talk I get, about the... I get paid to talk to you, but on this, from heart to heart, those guys I got on that last independent trip... Yeah, it was such a great group of people. Friends. Why don't you go, man? I got kids and a donut. I know. <laughs> yeah. How's the show going? How's 20 Seconds Free Landing booth? It's good. It's right on the other side here. I just came to get a donut really fast. And yeah. Then, um, yeah, hello. Um, I do, do the Willy Wonka thing where he goes... <laughs> and eats it. Uh, don't do that. Yeah, um, but no, it's good. It's been a good show. Today's busy as all hell, and I got a donut. I'd probably run back before Man. Paul fires me again. Good to see you. I love you. I love you too. Yeah, good job. We'll see you later. Yeah. All right, thank you. I'm good. I'm, I'm coming, I'm man. I'm what's what's going on? Give me some sugar. Hey, there you go. Hey, hold that. Talk hold that it. in. Hey, what's going on? What's going? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Just so we enjoying. Got, we, no, nope. Always hustling, but enjoying it. We hustle, have a, hustle. We have a surf fishing derby coming up. We're raising funds for our uh, learning center you that we have do in Oxnard. You a fantastic job. Yeah, thank you. So, so proud of you. So what we're doing, uh, a lot of the grants that we got last year and figuring out how to work nonprofit are like reimbursement type grants. Yeah. And some of them don't want to cover 
certain things. So this campaign for this surf fishing trip, it's winner take all. You sign up a ten dollar a month donation, so it's like one hundred twenty dollars, and it goes through our uh, through our database and our um, donors. So you get notifications and updates. Cool. And then we're just gonna throw everything that we collect into a cooler. Winner take all. All surf fishermen. You're not to be like a perch or corbina and halibut type of derby. Any kind of surf fishing, add up all the inches. So we do a little bit of like you mean data any surf fish? Anything, anything you catch. You catch leopard shark, stingray. Take the take the ruler. See how long it is. Add it up. Catch oh, seven like lizard fish. So it's just winter because it's more of a, a charity event, right? Yeah, I know right. you get the diehard Fun. surf fishermen that love. Yeah. You know that they do, but you know you got old school surf fishermen with the seven with a ten foot rod. They want to throw a big old chunk of bait out there. So why not include everybody again? It's just more of a charity event versus like, like for idea. the pros. So yeah. that's what I'm doing. I plus shaking hands and. Saying hi to great people like you, you know, yeah. that's Me? what we do, right? Yeah. Oh, thank this is you. Kevin Freeman right here, man. Hey, Kevin, is there a phone number or a website? Or uh, check out communitykevin.com. <laughs> communitykevin.com will take you to Real Guppy Outdoors and Real Langers Fishing so you can see our videos. So communitykevin.com has everything now. All right. I'm very, very stoked and proud of Thanks, all man. the progress I've seen you make over the ages. We did uh, Bass Pro yeah. uh, interview not too long ago. Yeah, last so, year? Yeah. yeah. You got to check in. I missed you when you are uh in the other country, try to follow you as much as I could. Man, but now that I you're back, I like to c connect with you as often as possible. Well, I'm getting so many YouTube subscribers, it's hard. I, sometimes I think, like, oh, man, it would be fun to go back to China. But okay. this thing is, like, building so fast no, that I'm staying, I That's think. because you're an international player, man. You can go from coast <laughs> to coast with the most, baby, from continent to continent, man. You can do whatever you want. Man, you got to hit up my PR that's what's division, that's man. It. That's what you do. <laughs> All right, brother. Thank Kevin, you so much, man. Good to see you. My pleasure. Give me a hug. Another one. Bring it in. You got it. Thank, Thank you, bro. You, Thank you, brother. Give me Love a hug. you. Love you, too, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Let's get a oh, <laughs> Boys, yeah. what's up? How are you guys? Good. It's good to see you. Who wants a microphone? Here, you're my microphone guy. All right, yeah. You can talk in that and if somebody else. What's up? What are you? Yeah, we're, we're, we're here to see you. No, why? <laughs> You've got to have higher aspirations than that. Uh, just trying uh, to get them outfitted for uh, the coming season. Nice, nice. Do you have any trips booked? Not yet. Still trying to plan. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, Good, man. I can't wait. I'm yeah, looking yeah. forward to it. Uh, man, for once, don't do the, I don't do the trout thing. It's Why? Too old. And also, oh, I can't do the fishing. Just kind of go like this, you know, just yeah. get down. Yeah, exactly. Just, just put my hoodie on, squinch over my knees. Take your lift pole in there and yeah. just jack pull about 40 trout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta I'm going to get us all on. in trouble. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly. If you'd like to get a spot on independent sport okay. fishing, please visit our website at independentsportfishing.com or you can call our office at area code 619 226. Six zero zero six. We look forward to having you. <laughs> Those stories, man, they're precious. Oh my God! Oh, Danny, good to see you. What's going uh, on, man? Latest, your audience latest, is out folks. there looking at you. We're gonna be checking out. You know, I, I I like doing this, and I like doing that. We I was blessed enough to do like national fishing shows. We had introduction of the products and stuff, but. You know, when you're getting it to the consumers here, and it's firsthand, you know, from the manufacturer to the consumers, it's kind of a neat deal. You can see the reactions. You can kind of follow the crowds, and you'll see the, the booths that are jammed. They have something, you know. We're very blessed that we have fishermen that are very astute about technical things, more so than anywhere in the country. And, and with that, Phil, I mean, that's why we drive so much of this industry. Yeah. From here. I know? love it. Because it's, whether it was bass... And I just was out front, I got stopped with, with uh, Rick, you know, Grover, and we talked about those old days. But, I mean, whether it's trout, fly, How are you, man? salt water, it all starts here in Southern Thank California. You. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't got 911. <laughs> you got Jeff, right? Shouldn't it be the other way around? <laughs> <laughs> I'd never call 911, you did Jeff will kill me. What are you, I, uh, what are you, are you doing here? Tell everybody what you're doing here. Um, I am here. You at the Apollo booth? Or? Uh, I, actually, we don't have a booth this oh, year. No, okay. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I am over at Iser Line, and we're doing the knot tying contest. Oh, nice. Yeah, Can't so, beat that. Yeah. Wendy's over there. And Wendy's over there, and okay. my son is over there. Oh, great. Right Congratulations. So, thank you. Love yeah. it. Addie's on the board right now for the junior division, my daughter. Oh, great. So, mm, awesome. Go. And, it's going in line. And Glenn, Glenn your down. father, and Chris. Yes. We got to do a podcast on one of these things, and you too. Um, I keep saying that I'll you're very, in on it. you're very humble. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, perfect. All right, come awesome. 
All you right, got not it. me. We'll do I don't want to be embarrassed. Oh, okay. oh. I'll watch you die. All right, Laura. You'll, you'll do it, right? Well, sure. Yeah, of He's course. Right. Yeah. No. Oh, he's taking our picture. Absolutely. We would miss the you. The first lady of sport fishing here. Jenny you know? Hall, a yeah. lovely person. You know, we're so blessed. Put on a blessed. great show. So blessed to have Jenny and Bart all these years and working with them from the manufacturing side to the actually, when I, when I was actually a fisherman, you know, yeah. but doing seminars. Are you and, and being a, uh, <laughs> not, almost, oh, not quite, not quite. Now, going after the grandkids now. Oh, okay. you know, so, yeah. yep. so my dad. Halibut man. Brought this What's up, buddy? What's my good, to good, to good to see you. Hey, I don't know how this is going to work because he's mic'd up and I'm mic'd up. So he's talking and I'm talking at the same time first. I Kim, I what's up? The, the readout on the CRT. Come on out here. Look, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Group hug. <laughs> yeah, we're live. <laughs> I know what the skunk. What's up? It's this guy looks like a movie oh, actor. Oh, I've never seen him. Yeah, what is that? That cap. I wonder how would that cap look on me? Are you afraid that I have lice or something? I know what's going on. Well, my dad had what do you think? And she Bad, huh? Yeah. So yeah. Terrible, yeah. isn't it? So I can see the screen. So I said, pump. Yeah, I mean, I went to Dorset. Really? I went to the school, and then I went to college. You I thought it was yours. It's worthless. <laughs> but if it stands out, watch it. I want it. You went down there because sport fishing was close. It's good. Yeah, we're having a great time. for back then, Jenny. Cruising. You know, I got to tell you a story. Yeah, yeah, everything's good. Ceremony. Yes. I was great, wasn't I? Awesome. Yeah, you're lying. What's that? Fruit punch? <laughs> oh. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh, What's up? Yeah, you know, <laughs> how are you guys? Boys, look out there at the camera. It's been a long time since Alex the intern has been here. Oh, my God. Okay, we're not going to do that. What do you want us to kiss, Greg? <laughs> What's up, boys? Yeah? Are you fishing? Yeah? School's going well? right now that is. Good. Attempt to even start it off. <laughs> right? Like, you <laughs> I know, know. background. <laughs> So what's so, up? You, you, you fishing a lot? Are you going to go on? Go on. They're going to go to the school. I will help Good. them drive that. Come by the uh, studio once in a while. I drove. Yeah. Yeah. You're in, so we had a straight salt yeah. water graphite yeah. there, too. Yeah, yeah with Scott yeah. Bucher. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> the guy's the high sticker and does something. Every Saturday <laughs> or Sunday? Uh, every Thursday. You're pulling. Then I'm there a lot. You know, like I'm there on the weekend and stuff. You stop my number, right? Drop off. Text me. You get 10% oh, of the yeah. power up here than you do down here. Perfect. But, I mean, that's, All right, good. boys. All right, I love you guys. You're getting Thanks for coming by. Ben, how are you? What's going on, man? Good to see you. What's up, Butch? Everything good? Yeah, everything's great. Can't get any better, man. That Lori, I don't know about her, though. Yeah, she's a, she's a troublemaker. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's his fault, though. <laughs> How's everything going? Good? good, good, good. All right, yeah, good. We're, we're uh, having a good show. You know, today's a... Uh, busy day? Today's a busy day, yeah. yeah. We're, uh, it's cranking so far. Looks like a good crowd, uh, good turnout. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, we're loving that, man. Yeah, you know we got the not time contest. So there. tell us what we're doing here. So... You can get in here, Greg. Not a boy, don't so be afraid. We've had the not time contest. Uh, Eisenlein runs this uh, not contest for... Uh, uh, the people come, they make a $5 donation, uh, they tie their strongest knot that they think can compete, we put it on the scale, and uh, we test the breaking strength. The winners each day go on to a final contest on Sunday, and the winners get prizes like rods, reels, tackle, uh, passes to go fishing at 22nd Street. You better tie a knot over here. Yeah. Tie yeah. your best knot. Yeah. I'm not tying mine. Mine's a granny no. knot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. behind that video camera too much. That's right. Oh, Greg's man. taking the, the pressure off me. I like it. I like it. Ben, good to see you. Absolutely. Everybody good. should come by the Eyes Are Lying booth. Do it. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, man. Thank All right. Go. Perfect. All right, kids. Mom wants you guys to tie a knot. I Shoot. tie it. Are we going to do it? You're, you're on right there, well, man. He, he's 16. So he's not. What about your 15? Yeah, oh, you can't be. Well, how old he is it? He should be able to count. Is that's this your knot right now? No, that's mine. Oh, all right. We get to see. Okay. 
too bad. Just let it be. Not tying. Huh? Man, look at all the money you guys are making. Yeah. All right, Greg, you can see the actual. And this is your knot? Yeah, I, this is my first time tying a you knot. All right, so, so what, what do we want to see this at? What What would be really good? I want at least 25. Um, 25. Oh, the 30s is pretty good. 30 is good. Yeah. What do you predict it's going to be? 20. Yeah. I'm good. going 25. Because I have confidence yes, in you. Yes, I got 35. Come on. This is my first meeting. Come on. Oh, we're past the 20. We're moving up on that 25. We're going surging past it. We're up to 30, which is good, right? Yeah. That's really good. Wow, give me five. Yeah. That's good. What Way that better. 25. 25. So that's wow. pretty good. And that's it broke at 34. Congratulations, kids. Yeah. All right, we're going to move on. Good to see you. How are you? Good, good. It's good to see you guys. Thanks. How's everything? Hey, oh my God! What's up? Boy. Can I sneak back there and get a hug? Or am I allowed behind the counter? What's up, Sam? How's it going? You look busy here. I'm loving it. What's up, Andrew? What's happening, Andrew? Man, Sam's killing it here. Hey, Steve. What's up, man? How are you? Can you leave now so we can get the Wi-Fi back? Oh, did the Wi-Fi go out? Of course. I'm good at that kind of stuff. You saw me the other night. I was asking for you, like, nonstop yesterday. Well, I'm Phil Friedman, man. What do you want? Come on. I want you to be here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Oh, Sam, don't have to screen your personnel anymore. Hey, there's Danny Cadota. My has a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, sir. I think you can do like 10 bucks. Buy a chicken one free. Hey, long oh, time no see. What's up, Matt? Good to see you. <laughs> oh, you don't have to do that. Is that my appearance fee? Yeah. Oh, that's not enough. Hey, it's working, Steve. It's working. Oh, you got Wi-Fi here, man. What's the code? Let me in on that. I'm here for moral support. Man, Sam is killing it here. Island fishing tackle, everybody. You got to come visit Sam because he's the man. He's ignoring me right now. He's trying to do business, but así es la vida. Hey, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yes. 95 you years. He did Thank good. you. He Thank did you. pretty good. Then he went. He went. He was, he was blessed. He went into sleep and got to see all the kids, great grandkids. Everybody. That was such a great story. It was, it was awesome. So. It was What's your deal. name? Sean. Sean, thank, yeah, you, for, thank you for thank you for your support, yeah, man. Appreciate it. Well, Philip, I've got a good old friend here. Old? Oh, well, no. Okay, wait, wait. Our, beard, our beards may tell something, but... You mean old, uh, your friendship has been a long time. Commonly, and he was a poster boy for Western Outdoor News one year, uh, and his uh, name was Jose Verde. You're and Jose Verde? Is, uh, yes. Joe hey, Green. Amigo. Joe Green. <laughs> and just so happened, we were filming a show with Harry Kojima, Let's Go Fishing. Yeah. Joe snuck away. We did a phenomenal show. And on the show... Joe's in there. We had all the Western Outdoor new guy, news guys, everybody else. But to disguise him from being at work, on the cover, his his name was, instead of Joe Green, it's Jose Verde. Nah. And it's just hilarious. I but, love it, man. Oh, no. But unbelievable. And nobody knew it at work. The, the magazine was on the table there in the lunchroom. They looked at it for two weeks. Never knew it was me. Uh, really? Never knew it was me. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Yeah, good I, stuff. I, I oh, just, unbelievable. You know, it was fun. Had a lot of fun. Great. Those some good old days, man. We fished with Harry Kojima on uh, the Muscle. On the Muscle. Yeah, we, Let's got go on, fishing. Uh, we got on Bluefin. We got on Yellowtail. Uh, and we filled up a couple of big coolers going back to Hawaii. Wow. Remember with all the little kids hit? Yep. You know, one of the kids is a, is a, a captain for uh, Delta Airlines. Now. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's my, he's Amazing. We had so many fish, and, and typical Hawaiian guys, they wanted all the fish. 
Okay. I can't tell you how many ice chests we loaded. I must have Hawaiian blood in me, too, because I want them all, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they went over to down. Delta Cargo, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. They, and they, they loaded up all the fish and all their clothes, and they just blew everything out. Because the, the other guy in the boat, Ward, Ward was the uh, general manager for uh, Delta Airlines in, in, in Hawaii. Yeah. So everything was on <laughs> on, on the house, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. That's great. But it's it so funny. Man. He's on the cover. <laughs> but it said it was... Jose Verde. Jose Verde. <laughs> That's great, man. I love it. Unbelievable. Rich Allen was on that yeah. trip. Uh, Rich Hong, I haven't seen him Mark, for a million uh, years. Mark Scott caught the almost 400 pounder a couple of years back. Mark Gassius, I think it was. Yeah, we, oh yeah, we had a whole bunch yeah, of guys. On trip. We had a whole bunch of guys yeah, on that trip. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Sounds yeah. great. Yeah. It's in the can. I still had that copy somewhere. But. Yeah, yeah. I just I pulled out cut a couple of shows yeah, out of it, right? Yeah, yeah. I just pulled a magazine off uh, not too long ago. Yeah, cover shot. Yeah, and I folded it out. You're on it. You're on it. Yeah. 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 on a fish, man. That was a fun trip, man. That yep. Good so stuff. Yeah, Legendary Jose Verde. Right, Jose Verde. Jose Verde. Jose <laughs> Verde. I'll come back for your autograph later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. Dale. Dale. Yeah. The one I saw you, you got the D, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, shoot. I have you Danny. mixed up with somebody else. You? That's right. Hey, what's, up? what's going on, dude? How much? Are you, uh, oh, you're stopping by Sam's place, huh? Yeah, I'm here with a buddy of mine. We're, Good. I was, I was here yesterday, and it was my second day. Perfect, man. Yeah. I just like come to the PCS show and uh, Mark. Absolutely. I'll be there with my buddy's first kid. Second yeah, we'll be there. The I just reached out to Bill for a podcast to promote that show. So. Yeah, you want to know something? Yeah. Recently, a few months ago, I bought me a DVD. Yes, a DVD. Oh, hold on, I'll tell you. Three hundred seventy-seven pounds of fury with Doc Ski. Oh right. He's going to be there at the show in March. Nice. At the Bronx at the. Uh, the Banson booth. Yes. I'm going to have him sign it. Oh, beautiful. Great you idea. Know the video? Doc's a great guy, man. Yeah, for sure. Excuse me. No problem. And, uh, see yeah. you soon. Yeah. Good I'm to see you, Dale. Going. You it's going good. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Thank you. You got it. Take care. Take care. Jerry, Jerry Page. Okay. Vertical Jigs. Pete Jiggs. We used uh, the Daiwas last time, too. I used the Daiwas. They killed. I killed with those. The SP Minnows? The SSPs? No. Not no. the SP Minnows. The Yo Jerry. Greg, this is Matt. He's virtually like a neighbor in San Pedro. Basically. But one, one thing as a young kid, he is so up. And that, you know, it reminds you kind of like how we were at this age. We're on top of it. But I'm going down, and he goes down to the Bay of Los Angeles a lot. He's got it all dialed in. And I'm using, from what he's telling me, old stuff. Now, we're good, but old he's stuff. got the stuff that's hot. And he's going to clue me in on what we're going to probably take the Bay of L.A. Matt, go ahead, man. Yeah, you got to bring the Yosuri Hydrominos and the Wacky Mac, the Anchovy, and the Mackle Colored. You got to have a chick to your 80-pound test or wire if you want to do that. And, and this is for Cabrilla. The short wire leader. Yeah, yeah. With a clip. I heard that's the best way to do it. I haven't done it myself, but I'm going to try it in April. Okay. So, well, yeah. you'll have a couple months on me. So oh, yeah. anyway, this is why we come to the show, guys. These kids are on top of it. And kind of even reminds me of when I was younger, you know, but uh, that was a long time ago. That's why, you know, the smarter thing to do is come into the show. He's there with Sam and the boys at Island Tackle, and, and they will dial you in. And as you heard, all the stuff I had, it's antiquated. It's old. Just make sure you have a heavy rod. You'll be good. I got that. I, I think I got a few. Yeah, a couple. All right, man. Thanks. Appreciate yeah, no it, problem. bud.